half thousand children applied for the place that you're standing in now. I'm Pierre, I'm 12 years old, and I'm going to open up my theatre restaurant one day. Me and my grandmother always cook together, and she's always taught me traditional Lebanese food. Good boy. My ultimate dream is to open up a theatre restaurant. Hopefully, I could get my grandma to work there too. The final young cook in the final heat is Pierre. Food is my passion right now, and I love it, and it's like a hobby to me. I just have a four um, bone lamb rack. Brilliant, no problem. I'll pick out maybe that one. I'll give you an extra one, okay? On the house. Thank you. Here you go, Pierre. Enjoy, thank buddy. You. Hey, Pierre, how are you going? I'm good, thank you. Now, what's the dish? Tell me, what, what are you doing? Um, it is herb custard lamb cutlets with stuffed mushrooms and green beans. Ooh. Now, what are you most worried about? Time. Time. And how many times have you cooked this dish? Uh, too much. Too much. How many yeah. times is that? Ten times, twenty times? More. More? I can't yeah. believe it. And how do you like your lamb cooked? Um, I like it uh, still a little bit of red inside, yeah, but not pink. too much. OK. Because I don't want the lamb to be undercooked and I don't want it to be overcooked. I want it about medium rare, medium. OK, and that's a nice one. It's supposed to be cooked rosé, which is just pink. Now, I want to know one other dish that you, you're really good at cooking. Chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. So you love to cook things like lamb racks yes. and chocolate mousse. Yep. You're a man after my own heart. Cheers. Pierre, what have you cooked? Um, herb custard lamb cutlets with stuffed mushrooms and green beans. Pierre, the lamb is cooked perfectly. Um, that crust, I think, is just like, I just want to eat the crust. It's so much guts, it's full of flavour. Well done, Pierre. Thank you. Fantastic, man. Well, at the final heat, only four places left to make it into that qualifying group of 20. Second person through to the qualifying round is Pierre. The dish that you'll all be cooking today is... This is my chocolate croissant pudding with macerated berries, clotted cream and a chocolate sauce. When time starts, the first thing I do is go and read the recipe once through. Once I knew what to do, that's when I felt calm and concentrated. To make the chocolate sauce, you have to put 300 ml of thickened cream and also 80 grams of chocolate. You have to keep watching the edges because if you leave it on the heat too long, it, the underneath will burn. Job well achieved. Not only did it look like Callum's, it actually tasted like his as well. Thank you. <laughs> if I call your name, you're through to the top 12. The second person through is Pierre. Junior Master Chef Top 12. Oh. 
welcome to the Master Chef Kitchen. What I'm gonna make is a crumbed rocket prawn and also a rocket and avocado salad with a mayonnaise. Can you help me? Yes, please. Thank you. Hey, this mayonnaise works out beautifully for you. Wow, Pierre, prawn and mayonnaise go really well together. Pierre, it's looking very exciting over here. What are you making? It's not a pie that's in a, um, in a ramekin. I thought to be outside the box, maybe I could roll it up. Like a beef wellington, which is the best meat pie in the world. <laughs> I made a mushroom duck cell. My auntie taught me how to do it, yeah. and then I thought I might as well use it with the meat because it goes So well. mushroom duck cell is like diced or minced mushrooms that Yeah, and then um, I fry it something. with some butter. Can anything possibly go wrong with this gorgeous-looking creation? Um, that the meat's going to be cooked good, but the pastry's still going to be not golden. Yeah. Ah. So, so you've got to make sure the pastry's yeah. cooked and the meat's cooked perfectly. That's the hard thing. And you know what that's down to, don't you? The temperature of the oven. Maybe okay. 2, 220. That'd be good, so it's nice and hot. OK, well, I'm looking at Pierre. When you talk about Clever, he's doing a lamb version of Beef Wellington. If it comes out, pink lamb, crispy pastry. That this, is, is, this is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. The tricky part of cooking this dish is that the meat won't be as red as if you cooked a piece of lamb in a normal oven without pastry. So I had to make sure the pastry was cooked and then hopefully the lamb would be cooked. I was really nervous because the pastry was cooked perfect, but I thought maybe is my lamb overcooked? But once I cut it, it was nice and pink. Pierre? That looks incredible. Amazing. Tell us what it is. It is a lamb wellington with, a, with spinach and a mushroom duck cell. Mushroom duck cell. Yes. This is what you learn when you go to trade school, mushroom duck cell. How old are you? 12. 12? And you know what a mushroom duck cell is. That's incredible. Okay. Should we taste? Um, yes. Oh, look at that. That is picture perfect. Yeah? That is incredible! Well done! Brilliant job. Can I tell you, that is beyond your years. Shake my hand. That is such a good job. The judges, like, they loved my dish. And then, like, yeah, I was just so happy. And now, the final announcement. The winner of today's invention test a massive six points. It is. Yeah. I was over the moon. I was really proud that I won the challenge. Yeah. Goodness. There you are at 12 years old, making a duck cell, sealing the lamb, rolling it all up into pastry, putting a cage or a cage on top, with little strips of pastry and baking it so that the pastry is perfectly crisp and golden and the lamb inside is perfectly pink. That is clever, clever, technique-driven food. Brilliant job. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome back to the MasterChef Kitchen. Does it feel good to be back in here? Yes! Today, you will not be competing here in the MasterChef Kitchen. What? Today, you'll be competing in your first ever team challenge. But before we tell you what that's all about, we need to pick the two teams. <gasps> Pierre, you won the invention test yesterday. So that means you get to be the captain of one team. 
the skills that I learnt as being school captain last year will help me because I had to make tough decisions on who to pick for what. Come forward and collect your apron. Pierre, your next job is to choose the captain of the blue team. Who will it be? Could I choose Anthony? Anthony, come forward oh. and take your blue apron. I am very good mates with Pierre. I'm not going to let him win. Pierre, what would you like to say to Anthony before we get down to battle? I hope you pick the right teammates so they help you good. Why did you choose Anthony? Well, we've become good friends. He's a good cook and I thought he'd be good for the job. And what about you, Anthony? What would you like to say to Pierre? Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's fighting words. OK, now, hang on a moment. Pierre, would you like to answer back to Anthony? I thought you were my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing in the team challenge today is cooking at a high school touch-off. <laughs> <laughs> 